Frankie wants to talk to you. Dr. Max, extension 456. Dr. Max, extension 456. First year you died, I prayed to God every single night for him to just bring you back to us. I promised I would do anything, eat my veggies, do my homework, keep my room clean, if he would just let you come home. The next year I prayed the same prayer. The year after that I did the same thing, the same prayer. And it's been 20 years now and God, he's finally answered my prayers. I'm still angry. I know. And I'm hurt. Yeah. You have every right to be, I know. Listen, what I said earlier, I know that, hey, hey, it's okay. No, it, it's not. There's so much that I don't know or don't understand, and I probably never will, but I guess you're not a hero if you don't have to make difficult, tough, life-changing decisions. Forgive you. I forgive you. Thought you'd be with David. Why? I saw your car at Wildwind. It's a long story. Really? It was a mistake. Okay, I'm sorry that I even talked to him. It's just that. Jake's gone. Babe's here. I'm just so lonely. How do you do it? How are you dealing with the loneliness? I'm sorry. It's all right. It's, uh, it's almost time for the moment of silence. It, it would really mean a lot to me. I would really like to spend it with Babe. And you, if that's okay. Would you mind if I stayed? Uh, leaving so soon? Oh. Jack? Hmm? Where are you going to be during a moment of silence? Home, I guess. Why? Alone? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. No, you need to be with your loved ones. Oh, and, and so do you. Maggie didn't come back? I haven't seen her. It's so weird. It's as if she just vanished. Weird in the half of it. I googled Aggie. Oh, for God's sake, you taught her the computer? Uh, and it seems that this town was started in 1870 by a woman named Aggie. No way. Coincidence? Well, here. Have a look at the picture. You tell me. But this means that would make her a ghost. And that's not the half of it. Seems she wrote a book. The one she was carrying? You see here, it says... It was a real big seller. It was called All My Children. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that proves it. I mean, Aggie is from the other side. Well, it's the healthiest ghost I've ever seen. Come on, Ma. I mean, you know, even if it were true, why would she appear to us now? Well, think about it. I mean, this is her town. We are her people. The biggest storm of the century has just walloped the stuffing right out of us. I think that she obviously wants to give us a sign that that Pine Valley can rise up out of the ashes. Oh, Mom, I'm so glad you could come. I brought someone. Uncle Jack! <laughs> Um, oh, could it be you've actually grown already? Hey, man. I hope you don't mind. Oh, 
even come to her christening. You know, I was so torn about whether I should wait for Kendall. Well, I mean, on the one hand, you know the minute Kendall gets home, she's going to want to throw Gabby a party, so I guess the downside is you get two of them. Oh, you get two I'll be parties. there, both of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey. Well, we got about a minute. It might be Aggie. I thought you might be here. It's all right, Adam. By all means, come on in. Thank you for those we can join hands with in this moment. Look down on us and know that we love you, babe. We'll look up and know that you're lighting heaven so bright with that smile. Just let our be at peace, God. Give us the strength to find our way and the courage to make the right choices. Let my whole family be strong. You gave us a sign of hope and love with a new life born into so much pain and destruction. And so we pray for mothers to return to hold their children, wives to be back in their husbands' arms, families to be whole again. With grace and strength, we'll do better than survive. We'll rise from this even stronger. The great and the least. The rich and the poor. The weak and the strong. In joy and in sorrow. In tragedy and triumph. You are all my children.